Hello, my bread of life friends and family. I wanted to make a special announcement video today. Um, thinking about this next week here in the United States as we prepare for um, Joe Biden to become the next president. There very well could be more violence and not just in Washington, D.C., but here in St. Paul. So I want to ask you to do two things, maybe three, three things. First, ask you to pray. Pray that God's peace will be present for us for our country, for our leaders, and for all of us. So many of us are agitated and upset. We don't quite know what to do with all of our feelings. And so God is very powerful and we often forget to pray. So ask you to pray. And pray that there won't be violence. But the second thing is I ask you to prepare yourself that there could be more violence. So how, what does that look like? I would suggest you make a list of things that you enjoy doing. Write down the list now. Don't wait until there's some upsetting thing that's happening. Make your list now. For me, that list will include going for a walk with my dog, playing a game with my family, watching a movie, putting my phone on do not disturb me, and limiting when I look at the news. I know Deacon Dorothy recently said she had to limit herself to half an hour evening news. That's it. That's all. Even though there's lots of news happening all the time, and developments and new interviews and all sorts of stuff happening to just know the big things that are going on. That's enough. So write down your list today. Start it today. Maybe it won't be finished, but start it today because when we feel stress and fear when we're worried, we can't really think. Our brains kind of go into only survive mode. Another thing I'll put on my list is cooking. I'll probably make some cookies. Mm -hmm. Okay, the third thing I ask you to do is reach out to somebody and ask them to check in on you. Maybe agree, I'll check in with you, you check in with me. And we have our directory books. Mine is hiding somewhere. We have our directory books for Bread of Life. So use your directory book, contact somebody, check in with them, and ask them, check in with me too, please. So those are the three things. 
First, pray. Second, make your list in case there is more violence. And third, reach out to somebody. Make a plan for checking in with one another. All right, know that I am holding you in my prayers as we go through this next week and I'm praying with you.